and welcome to the second Sunday in Advent. Ready to sing and ready to clap your hands and ready to listen? And have you enjoyed the first week in Advent? Was anything different? Did you try anything new? Did you pray more? Did you open an Advent calendar? The Advent wreath now has two purple candles lit. On the first Sunday, we began to hear about the coming of Jesus. And this Sunday, we meet someone really special, John the Baptist. As we go through Advent, each of the candles will be lit, making it brighter and brighter. And that's what our world is supposed to be, because we would be making it brighter and brighter with our love, with our joy, with our caring. So as the Advent candle begins to light, so should our lives. So let's think about that today. In today's readings, we are told that someone very special is coming. Who do you think that might be? John the Baptist tries to help people get ready for this special person. Let's think some more about that today. Make Advent a really special time this year. Have some quiet time, a quiet spot where you can sit and listen to the Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This might be the first time that you have heard this hymn. So let's try and listen, and if you can, join in. It's a song about waiting, waiting for the Lord, waiting for his birth. Wait for the Lord, his day is near. Wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart. Have mercy on us, have mercy on us. Have mercy because we have sinned. And let's sing the Alleluia together before we hear the Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. It was the 15th year of the rule of the Emperor Tiberius. Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip was ruler of the territory of Ituria and Trachonitis. Lysanias was ruler of Abilene, and Annas and Caiaphas were high priests. At that time, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. So John went through the whole territory of the river Jordan, preaching, Turn away from your sins and be baptised, and God will forgive your sins, as it is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah. Someone is shouting in the desert, Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him to travel. Every valley must be filled up, every hill and mountain levelled off. The winding roads must be made straight, and the rough paths made smooth. The whole human race will see God's salvation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
So do you remember what the Gospel was about? First of all, it gave us really complicated names about Caiaphas and Tiberius, etc. But then it talks about John the Baptist. And John the Baptist is giving a very clear message. He's telling people to get ready, to be ready, to make a way for the Lord. To be baptised and to have their sins forgiven. He is telling everyone that he meets the same message. Because Jesus is coming and he wants people to be ready to meet him for every part of their lives so that they will be more loving, they will be more caring, they will be praying more, they will be thinking about others more rather than hurting one another. So in the pictures you see John the Baptist speaking to as many people as he can to bring everyone closer to God. So maybe that is our challenge, that we encourage one another, that we encourage one another to love and to care and to share and we encourage one another to pray, to make this Advent a time of prayer, maybe a short prayer every day, asking that God will keep you close to him. Do you believe in God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? We believe, we do believe. So let us pray. We try to make a change to our lives and the lives of others as we prepare for the coming of Jesus. And so we pray together. We pray for all the leaders in the world that they may treat their people and those of other countries with fairness and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all children around the world that they may have the chance to change their lives for the better and look to the future with hope and happiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our communities, families and friends that we may care for each other as Jesus taught us and so change all our lives for the better. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's say the Our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. So let's sing this together. May the peace of Christ be with you today. May the peace of Christ be with you today. May the love of Christ, the hope of Christ, May the peace of Christ be yours. So I wonder if you remember the hymn from the beginning. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. During the week, every day, you could come back to the kids' church and have a look at the presentation. You could have a look at the activity sheet and colour in the picture for this week. And you can share this information with all your friends.
This week, your activity is quite different. You can make a bauble, like the ones you would have on your Christmas tree. But your bauble is about hope and love and peace and joy. So try the activity, colour in your bauble, colour in the words and put it on your tree and think about this second week in Advent. So this second week of Advent, let's think about how we can make it special. Can we come to church on Saturday or Sunday? Can we bring our friends to church? It'd be great to see you there. And maybe if your family have registered on forum, you can go to the website and you'll be able to see a daily programme about Advent from Brother Francis. And your family will be able to see films and you, short cartoons to help us think about Advent this year. And we can never forget Laudato Si, especially at this time of year. Caring for our earth during the Advent and Christmas season is really, really important. There's lots of paper involved. Could we maybe use less paper? There's lots of paper that's going to be ready for the bin. Could we recycle that paper? And maybe instead of buying fancy, colourful wrapping paper, could we use brown paper? Because that can be recycled. So think about caring for the earth this week. What can you do?